So next unit, second unit that is introduction to regular expression. Okay, so in the previous unit we discussed about finite automata. Finite automata is nothing but acceptors. So in this unit you are going to study about regular expression. Okay. And also we discussed about the languages. So what is a language? Language means a group of strings. Okay. So in the previous unit we discussed about regular languages. Regular languages is nothing but we saw some examples such as set of all strings starting with A, starting with A, B, doesn't contain A, A, B, ending with C, Roman like that. Okay. So in the previous videos what are things you saw was regular languages. Okay, and this regular language is accepted by acceptor. Acceptor is nothing that is finite automata. Okay, in the finite automata, we saw two types finite automata without output category and finite automata with output category. Okay, finite automata without output category, three types one is BFA, other is NFA, and another one is epsilon NFA. Okay, DFA, NFA and Epsilon NFA. And with output category two types, Mealy machine and Moody machine. And we discussed about how to construct a DFA, NFA, Epsilon NFA, Mealy machine, Moody machine. And we saw that all the automata are having equal power. Okay, we can convert NFA to DFA, Epsilon NFA to NFA, Epsilon NFA to DFA, Mealy to Moody, Moody to Mealy. So all the conversions also we saw in the previous unit. So, in the previous unit, we discussed about the acceptors. Acceptors means finite automata and the types also we saw with and without output category. Okay. So, in this unit, we are going to study about the mathematical representation of regular languages. So, regular languages are represented by using a mathematical expression which is known as regular expression. Okay, just I am representing like RE, uh, it is, uh, I mean, it is regular expression. Okay, so regular languages are represented by using mathematically, which is known as regular expression. Okay, so regular expression is the mathematical representation of a language which are accepted by the finite automata. And one more thing that you will see in the next unit, that is in unit 3, that is regular languages are here generated. That is all the strings in the language can be generated or all the strings are enumerated by using generators. Generator is nothing but regular grammar that you will see in the third unit. So in this unit we are going to discuss about how to represent a regular language by using regular expression. So once again I will explain you what is an acceptor, what is a generator, what is a regular expression etc. So acceptors mean some, some mathematical representation to which if we give a string it will say whether the string is present in the language or not. That is if the, uh, there will be some representation we are giving the string to the representation it will say the string is present if it is present in the language or the string is not present in the language. Okay this is acceptor so acceptor is finite automata. And uh, generator, generator means if we are having a language, it will generate all the strings in the language. Generators are nothing but grammar. Okay. And regular expression, that is regular languages can be represented mathematically by using regular expression. Okay. So regular expressions are the representation of the language which are exactly accepted by the finite automata. Okay. So, if any language can be accepted by finite automata, then we can represent it by using a regular expression. And the regular expression consists of three operations. There are mainly three operations for a regular expression. First one is union operation. We can represent by using this operator or union operator. Okay. Then second one is concatenation. Concatenation dot. And third one is clean star closure clean closure okay represented by using star okay so the these are the main three operations in regular expression regular expression contains these three operations that is union concatenation and clean closure so we can see a small example for union concatenation and clean star closure suppose l1 is a language and l2 is another language l1 consists of these two strings and l2 consists of these two strings these three strings okay l1 union l2 means all the strings belongs to l1 and l2 uh, similar to mathematics uh, in maths we will study about union okay similarly 0 0 0 1 
epsilon then 1 0 again 0 1 is repeating so no need to write okay so 0 0 0 1 epsilon and 1 0 no need to write 0 1 again because we already wrote 0 1 from language l1 okay so l1 is a language l2 is a language then l1 union l2 is also a regular expression if l1 is a regular expression sorry that i will discuss in the next topic l1 and l2 are the languages and the union l1 union l2 is this one concatenation concatenation means just how we are performing concatenation in mathematics sets okay similarly this is a language l1 this is a language l2 l1 union l2 means 0 0 into epsilon that is 0 0 then 0 1 into epsilon that is 0 1 then 0 0 into 0 1 means 0 0 0 1 0 0 then 0 1 into 0 1 means 0 1 0 1 that is concatenation we are combining two languages two strings in the language both languages then clean closure clean closure means we are represented by using star okay so a star means zero or more combination of a zero means epsilon length so epsilon then a a a triple a and so on that is a star that is zero or more combination of a a plus means one or more combination of a so single a double a triple a and so on okay next is about rules of regular expression if phi sigma and any input symbol belongs to sigma are the regular expression then the language corresponding to the representation of phi epsilon and a belongs to sigma r that is phi this is a regular expression the corresponding language is empty set epsilon is a regular expression the corresponding language is cons is, uh, language consists of epsilon only a is an input symbol the corresponding language a. okay so these phi epsilon and a are known as primitive regular expression okay so phi is a regular expression epsilon uh, epsilon is a regular expression and any input below any input symbol belongs to uh, sigma is a regular expression these are the corresponding languages these are the languages and the corresponding regular expression are these things okay then if we are taking any two primitive regular expression okay this is the first rule second rule, if we are taking any two primitive regular expression these are the primitive regular expression then Suppose I am taking two regular expression R1 and R2. Say R1 and R2. Okay. If you are taking any two primitive regular expression. Say R1 and R2. Then union of two regular expression is a regular expression. If we are performing the union of two regular expression. And we will get one answer. Okay. That will also be a regular expression. Concatenation of two regular expression. R1 concatenated with R2. R1 and R2 are regular expression then that is also a regular expression then clean closure r1 star is also a if r1 is a regular expression then r1 star is a regular expression okay so that is the second rule and the third rule is if we are taking both rules that is rule 1 and rule 2 any number of times then you will get a regular expression okay so if we are taking rule 1 and if we are taking rule 2 and we are taking these two thi thi these two rules any number of times then you will get a regular expression finally okay so these are the three rules of regular expression phi epsilon and a are the regular expression and the corresponding languages are these things and these phi epsilon and a a means we can say a b 0 1 any input symbol okay are the primitive regular expression and if we are taking any two regular expression then we are performing union concatenation and clean star closure after that also we will get the regular expression and if we are using both the rules any number of times then also we will get a regular expression so these are the three rules of regular expression so this is about introduction about regular expression and there are some identities also that also you need to study phi plus r equal to r plus phi equal to r phi dot r equal to r dot phi equal to phi these things also you need to study